I uh, like to thank uh, all of you for inviting me into this panel because I must admit, to, to, to start with, I was very puzzled as what I could contribute um, because, well, as Sister Safrida, most of the time um, when we do speak, we straddle the sort of disability sector and the women's sector. Um, I think it might not be the first time, but I, I get very seldom to come and talk at sort of the wider picture. And I'm grateful because it made me think. And um, so, well, I can say to join up the spots because um, to look at the sort of, yeah, the bigger picture. Because when we talk about armed conflict and arms and stuff like that, um, I start thinking of the money and the costs not just the financial costs, but also the human costs. And as is said that I, I come from Malaysia, so it's not surprising that I am anti-colonial um, and post-colonial <laughs> and um, very much the sort of, um, you know, this, this, this kind of thinking is, is Let's just say when 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 I was growing up in Malaysia, you you don't think about these sort of things because it's very easy to be put in jail for 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 having even uh, you know going to any protests or in thinking about it even if you're doing it as social work, and but that is the sort of background I come from, and and so when I come to the UK and having to 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 to, to sort of include all of this and think that even the supposedly cash-strapped developing countries will pay for arms rather than save their citizens from poverty. And when we say security, so what security? It's not the security of the citizens very much. It's the security of the people in power. And it is to keep uh, people in power including the arms trade, because the UK earn rather a lot of money from selling arms. So the UK is no different. And again, I, I'm speaking about joining the, spo the, 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 the spots. As disabled people, we are often brushed off as, um, or as BME, that our needs cost too much and there's no money in the public coffers for funding us. So access to housing, healthcare, jobs, services isn't there. Um, very seldom we sort of challenge um, the kind of money, uh, the, the, where the public money goes. And recently I've started to challenge that in my own local council. Um, and, and see in a way how, how difficult it is as a sort of grassroots organization to kind of fight the inequality. I mean, austerity is often branded about. And there, so that's the human and community costs because we're not able to contribute to society if we don't have the necessary support, such as accessibility, equity, and inclusion. And as always, disabled people face fear of cuts in the UK and the lessening of support. And when you include the multiple identities or intersectionality, what, it, what as I am, a disabled person who's also a person of color, so, you know, you, you get that and I, I don't need to go into the sort of um, barriers we face as um, for, for, for COVID-19 because um, because we're, we're battling on those fronts. I mean, I'm listening and I'm filled with awe about, you know, thinking about climate change, you know, you, you guys fighting against climate change and all that. 
and how important it is. Because the other human costs, you know, when we talk about conflict, is the cost of lives and how conflict maim lives of all men, women, and children. I mean, like conflict zones, people acquire impairments and it's also worse for women and children. The gender barriers in conflict zones mean that women's lives are destroyed by the community's perceived roles of women as homekeepers, workers, child bearers, wives, and mothers. The stigma of disability is very much a global issue. And, is, and at the moment, we there's two weeks, uh, not in New York anymore, but it used to be in New York, the UNCSW, the Com Commission for the Status of Women, which is two weeks um, starting the beginning of last week and, and lasting two weeks, where um, the discussion about women's issues, and this this year it's online on, on, on Zoom and, and other things. And I remember one of the things we did as part of the UK NGO uh, of um, women's organizations, and I made the point that we should include having a strategy for emergencies to include measurement measures for disabled people so that we're not abandoned, um, you know, doing things like floods and, and fires. At, at that time, it was, um, it was that hurricane in, in, um, in, uh, <laughs> My brain's gone. Um, uh, what was it called now? Hurricane. Oh, ne never mind. Um, you know, because very often disabled people are not thought about. And somebody else has mentioned about immigration. Think about how much more difficult it is if you're escaping, if you've got a mobility issue, if you are disabled, how, how many how many disabled people have you read about that have managed to escape arriving on boats? Boats are not accessible. Um, so you, you know, so the sort of climate change do affect us, uh, but you know, it really needs. Well, I needed to really kind of think seriously about it before I. Put this, uh, join the uh, dots together. So I'm going to end with the, lastly, with the fear of um, lessening freedom for protests and speech. As somebody said, I'm, I'm an activist and I've been involved in many direct actions. And I'm also a member of the NUJ, National Union of Journalists. And I'm wondering about the curtailing of reporting um, the, this uh, kind of protest and being able to be there without being arrested. Um, part of Sisters Uncut, for example, the Kill the Bill protests, many of us are part of that, you know, because we are protesting about the uh, domestic abuse and violence against women. So what is you know my question is security but whose security i think other people have mentioned that is the sort of security against us for putting our lives at stake the sort of things that mean uh, a lot to us but we might not be able to um voice about them anymore thank you